Greetings everyone, Serin Soup here again with another cheap Walmart gun. What? No, you can get Savage by Stevens, either or, kind of anywhere you want. But Walmart's where I see them more prevalent. I've been seeing them more in pawn shops than regular gun shops now, but primarily I've been seeing Stevens at Walmart. So this gun cost me $140, but like, uh, like the Hatfield, which is in a sock. That was after my Walmart discount. It's $159 retail, but $149 after my discount. What kind of pump action shotgun for home defense are you getting for $140, pending you're a Walmart employee? Well, let's just look real quick. The packaging, as basic as a Hatfield's, is direct competitor. But unlike the Hatfield, this thing comes disassembled. So let's just get her unwrapped. Oh, well, that's nice. Comes with a little swivel mount already. Oh. Both sides too. Nice. Yeah, free spinning. What, what the heck? Remove to assemble the barrel. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. The follower's right there. There's no... Oh, hello. Hello! Remington dimples! That's what I was looking for last time. Oh, wait. So, so far what we have in the package is a very dry very dry there's not a drop of oil on this baby girl. Oh, man. Yeah, let's check if it's safe. Leetle, leetle, leetle. Yeah. I mean... I was worried about this overhang spot. Sorry for the camera shake. Having being a weak point, see how thin the plastic is, that it would buckle. But it feels fine. So there is the main body of the shotgun. What else do we have here? We have a pamphlet warranty card. Always follow your warranty. You'll never regret it. What is this, a choke tool? Huh. If that's a choke tool, <laughs> ear protection. What else we got in here? One of these fancy hanging targets, you shoot it and it just auto resets. Definitely use that later. The actual barrel, again, just like the main firearm, comes packaged with forbidden candy. Do not eat this. Oh wow, I like that. I like that. This is like, yeah. Let's see what we got here. MFG by Sun City Machinery, imported by Savage Arms, Westfield, Massachusetts. Let's see, three twenty twelve gauge, two inch. Two, yeah, no, two and three quarters and three inch shells. Hey, before use, read and understand. Understand the owner's manual. All right, is that it? What a you know honestly compared to the Hatfield packaging, very tidy, very nice. Stevens, a definition, the definition of value. And for 159, I'm kind of feeling that right now. What's this? <clears throat> this tag contains important information, and is to be removed by consumer only. What is this? A mattress? Yeah. Plastic trigger guard, but that's typical of everything. Oh no, guys. Bad move, didn't ship sh safe. There we go, <laughs> no. Yeah, gosh, yeah. Feels nice, let's go ahead and get this barrel inserted. There is a little pixie weeksy at it, in case you guys wanna see what it seats like. Why don't I put the cap back on if I was just gonna, ugh. Yep, this is also metal, just like the Hatfield. The follower, plastic, but I mean, everyone uses plastic followers now. Let's see how easily this seats. Do I actually need to look at the manual for this? 
Let's pull that forward some. It's not clearing. We'll go back and forth till it snaps. We'll put the little cap back on. Remember, don't over tighten, but do hand tighten. So that is the fit and finish of it so far. She is just... It's right there. The release is in the back. Well, she is bone dry. Little High viz follower. Always love that. Hmm, how does she feel? Safety works, that's good. Definitely, definitely moves better than the Hatfield does. Woo! Hit my ceiling fan. Yeah, the fit and finish of this thing is pretty good. Like, look at that. No blemishes. Ejector. Ejector's nice and beefy. Beefy enough. Wait, her first safety check. Lee, 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 Lot of, lot of, lot of. All right, so. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Once again, I was really concerned with this, the place on the pump action where it goes over the receiver. See how it's leaving dirt and grime? That's fine. But I was worried that this was going to be like flexible, but it is like <clears throat> strong. Only the slightest amount of wobble. So let's go ahead, get some shells through her, see how she runs. I uh, went ahead, gave her some oil. I don't care for how tiny this button is, but I'm a grown-up, I'll get over it. So let's let's cycle her some. Alright. Lead a lead a loop. Lot a lot. A lead a leetle. Yeah, no, it moves so smooth. Let me have you guys watch me undress my guns, apparently, and get out what is effectively the Stevens 320 competition. So here we have three perfectly great examples of what you'll find in a North American big box store that sells firearms, at least. We have a Mossberg 88, everyone's first love, unless your daddy's loaded, then it's a Mossberg 500. We have a Hatfield PAS home defense shotgun and a Stevens 320, which is just such bang for the buck, to be honest. So this retails at $199. We're saying $200. And this is $178. We're going to say $180. There's only a $20 difference between these two. That's only $20. You might as well go with a name brand, trusted, bigger, bustier warranty, more accessories. So we'll just put that here for now. Get the Savage, get the little Stevens a bit closer. And this is the crux of it. Again, the Maverick 88, everyone knows, everyone loves, everyone has had one, or has one. And it has so many accessories because of that. This, you're not gonna get any accessories for. At least, not without doing some research. Like, a lot of forums, a lot of people say that these are based on Winchester 1300, so anything that a 1300, fits should fit on this but then I keep hearing and reading controversial things about that not being the case however at a $40 difference if you don't plan on bubbling the heck out of it you know turning it tech to cool you have a $160 shotgun perfectly serviceable nice solid build choke options a visually interesting stock like at $160, they could have just plastered on a generic stock like this, and no one would have complained. They could have just went with some mild checkering. No one would have complained. But no. No, look at this. Nice deep ridges to grip into. Palm relief. Visual interest. Nice little branding. On the pump grip, nice large, a sharp angle to grip into. Ridges. I mean, heck, whether you're short-armed or long-armed, you got good, positive places to grip this thing at. It's a 
like the plastic furniture feels solid and it's actually actually really good I love the look of that angle and I love the grip it gives you so that's the crux of it you're saving forty dollars but you're losing out on accessories while this has a longer barrel and can fulfill a better hunting role and can still be okay for home defense despite you know it's going to be long so it's going to be cumbersome you'll need to do some drills everyone do some drills safely do some drills but obviously you'll want something shorter for home defense but if you can only have one firearm right if you can only have one firearm you want something that can do both okay so this has a longer barrel. This has choke options. This, this comes with with sling mounts, which even the Maverick 88 doesn't. The Hatfield didn't. I had to put this in. That cost me eight dollars. Bringing the Hatfield's price, if I wasn't a wage cuck, to one not to yeah one ninety, which really makes the Savage Stevens an even more attractive option. So. Honestly, like, this is such a good shotgun for the money. Such a good shotgun for the money. I honestly can't believe it. Like, the finish is just good. I'm still going to oil it. I'm still going to let it soak overnight in a sock, but I'm actually amazed. So their logo, here, let me get this in on here. The definition of value. They did it. They did it. They actually did it. There's no mooring. My Hatfield has mooring out of the dang box. You know, the fin finish, not the greatest, not the worst. I didn't care for the price, but this... $20 cheaper. And it, look at that. It looks, it looks like a $200 shotgun. It feels like a $300 shotgun. Oh man, I'm actually quite impressed. Yeah, we'll just call it here. 10 out of 10. Honestly, I've been syringe soup. This has been the Stevens 320. Pump action shotgun at a hundred and fifty nine dollars. Let's get a feel for that trigger. Not the worst, not the best, but it's pretty decent. Feels so solid. I love it. It's a hundred and fifty nine dollars. Hard to believe. Hard to believe, you know. Little, little, little. Lead a lot of wow. Leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'm obligated to remind you. Let's swap some 88 stories. Let's swap some Steven stories. <laughs> How is everyone doing with their uh, Hatfield? You know, what a good gun. Good job, Stevens. I've been Serene Soup. Everyone have a wonderful night or day. I don't know what time it is.